Uncle Milton's Force Trainer 2 is a toy that's supposed to be able to detect beta waves in your mind and transmit them via Bluetooth to a, uh, an iPad or other type of tablet device located in the top of the plastic frame that you see here. And uh, depending on the level of the beta waves, it can cause a holographic image to move either up or down. I was very interested in this, so I got one to see if it really worked. Uh, first thing, the uh, plastic case is not that difficult to put together. It takes about 15-20 minutes. The uh, software downloaded in about five minutes. And although I had a little bit of trouble getting the uh, headset synced in so that it would stay connected with the iPad, in this case, uh, after a while I got the hang of it and there, there were no real problems. The big thing you want to do is uh, once you get a good connection, connection as indicated by a green dot on the screen, you want to hold absolutely still. Any movement of all, at all is almost certainly going to knock you off the connection, which isn't a big problem because it just takes up where it left off. It just takes a few seconds to reconnect. The question is, does it work? Well, it should, because all you need to make this work is an on-off switch, uh, which is uh, controlled by the level of beta waves in your brain. Now, beta waves uh, are one of the dominant waves that you pick up if you get an uh, electroencephalograph. The um, thing that makes them stronger is if you do some hard mental activity like uh, concentrating on math or uh, reading a book is very good for increasing beta wave strength. If you want to decrease beta wave strength, you do some meditation. You close your eyes, you concentrate on your breathing, you stay relaxed, you don't think about anything and the beta waves go down. So I decided to see if this thing really does work. Now, the first thing I want to say is that the headset does work. The fact that it can make and break connection with the iPad indicates that it is sensing something and sending it over the Bluetooth. Unfortunately though, and I'll prove this in a second, I'm afraid it's a complete scam. I did two tests. In both of them, I had the sound completely turned off and I had the screen that I could watch blocked so I couldn't see it. I t went to uh, training lesson number two and I ran it twice. The first time, without having any view of the screen at all, I just turned my back and read a book. The second time, I ran the same uh, training exercise to Again, only this time, I closed my eyes and uh, just did some very calming meditation where I just focused on my breathing and didn't think about anything, which should have lowered the, um, my beta waves. And as you'll see in the following two video segments, it doesn't matter. I pass the uh, uh, training level two both times, no matter what I'm doing. So I think what's really going on here is that inside the machine, inside the software I should say, they have some sort of random program which uh, makes things move around and gives the impression that gee whiz, you you're really are concentrating on and focusing and controlling the objects in the screen. It seems like it works and young children will fall for this because they're, they're focused on the object and it seems to be moving around and they can get the impression, they can be fooled into thinking they're really controlling it. But as these two tests will show, it doesn't really matter what you do. Jedi strength 
flows from the force. But before strength, control you must learn. Observing your progress throughout your training, I will be. Demonstrate control and self-discipline you must. Only then will you advance to training for the Jedi Trials. Tested you will be as you face challenges encountered by great Jedi before you. Succeed, and well prepared you will be. May the Force be with you. Practice now. Use the Force to pass the trading remote through the whole ring. Ready are you? Begin. You may. Proving you are. Raise the training remote, you must, to pass through the hollow ring. Raise the training remote, you must, to pass through the hollow ring. the training remote to pass through the hollow ring. Raise the training remote, you must, to pass through the hollow ring. Good. Advance to the next stage of training. When ready you are. Now, use the force to pass the training remote through the hollow ring. Ready are you? Begin, you may.
the training remote to pass through the hollow ring. Raise the training remote, you must, to pass through the hollow ring. Good. Improving you are. Now, lower the training remote to pass through the hollow ring. Concentrate to raise the training remote. Good. Advance to the next stage of training. When ready you are. So, if this was $20 is sort of a joke present or a present uh, just to have children something different to do, I'd say fine. But anywhere from $70 to $130, which what was what these things are running for, I think this is a complete scam. I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying be aware of that no matter what you think, it's not going to really affect the images in here, no matter what you may believe. I want to make it clear that I wanted this thing to work and I've spent many hours testing it in different ways and every time it's the same no matter what I'm doing what I'm thinking the uh, training programs eventually complete themselves so it doesn't use beta waves to create movement in the images now that doesn't necessarily make this a bad toy the randomness built into the training programs makes it appear as if you are controlling the object and certain children will buy into this and have a lot of fun just sitting there for hours thinking that they're controlling the object and uh, you know it'll pass the time and in some ways it's better uh, than uh, games on their smartphones because it is teaching them to focus and concentrate on an object the problems I see though is that very young children are going to have a hard time sitting still for long enough and they're going to constantly make and break connections and that's going to get frustrating. Uh, older children I think are going to catch on to the trick fairly quickly. So I hope you found this uh, review helpful if you're thinking of buying one of these and uh, as always thank you for watching.